Hello, my darling dreamers. So I was just <laughs> about to go do a bunch of personal readings for my club and I got guided to grab this deck. Um, monarchs, black butterflies are significant to somebody. This is going to just be a general reading. Um, we'll do, yeah, it's just a general reading. I heard not a pick a pile, which I love to do. So my name is Nilsa, HFIC, I had Fairy in charge for those of you who don't know me. I have all the clairs, so pay attention if you found this reading. Okay, low standards, low bar, low energy, accepting less, less than one deserves. Somebody has low self-esteem here. With law, law enforcement, no need to worry. Somebody could be a fire sign. Um, yeah, I'm hearing actually it really has nothing to do with a fire sign, an actual fire. Somebody's been doing fire rituals, full moon rituals or something with an open fire. Somebody also could have um, gotten in trouble regarding a fire or your person's a fireman, but it's literal fire. It's um, not just a fire sign for somebody. It's somebody, the situation literally has to do with a fire. Um, says don't worry about it so if you think you're gonna get in trouble over a fire or if your person is a fireman and um they think they're in trouble we have empaths so you can feel um you can feel their energy and you've been trying to um move forward but you can't because you keep feeling their energy and the reason is because um it's in your soul contract to marry this person and you do, I think somebody here is actually also like doing rituals to try and let go or detach from somebody. And then it works for a few, like a little while. You're like, let me, let me try and be alone and um, not pay attention to them. Emotionally distant, uh, holding back space. So you're trying so, somebody here is trying so hard to be... I'm hearing savage to be cold to be like detaching and like I don't need them I can buy myself flowers blah 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 and you're doing rituals you can't uh, that could be the fire too like the you know people do like the cord cutting Woo! you have a cycle so you go through a cycle of feeling all in and then freaking out worrying about them with the nine of swords energy to pretending like you don't care with emotionally distance alone time you're like i'm not thinking about it nope i'm doing other things you might have other passions you're taking care of right now taking care of a house taking care of a baby um yeah we have moving so somebody could be getting ready to move and that's what you've been focusing on and pretending that you don't care about your connection they're I actually, it's probably not going to get to whoever this is meant for, but I actually feel like this is a specific reading for somebody that like used to do readings and gave up on their connection and they're like putting this mask on like, oh, I don't care. I found my way back to Jesus and I don't care about being, you know, psychic. I don't care about, you know, connections and this and that. And... It, it's, it kind of feels like um, you're going to be you're going to be coming back to it but finding a good balance between your both I'm hearing both realms of spirituality finding a, a good balance between um, finding a good balance between like your religion and then what you and your twin flame are meant to be doing where I feel like you wanted to abandon either or that's the thing somebody wanted to abandon a religion in the beginning to go to to focus on spirituality and then they abandon their spiritual connection to focus back on some kind of old purpose um, but it doesn't matter where you go it doesn't matter what happens in your life you're still gonna feel each you can't escape this no matter how alone you are no matter how you try to be cold you try to be no matter how far you try to physically move it comes back what else do they need to know it does really feel like this is or this could even be you that you were considering it like you're like oh 
um, you are trying to say this isn't a twin flame connection. They're a narcissist. They've been toxic and abusing me emotionally, even though they're just purging and going through healing. And you just happen to be in front of the punching bag. You know, you don't deserve it at all. I am not advocating for abusive relationships. I'm telling you what's coming through is someone tried to convince himself that a spiritual connection was actually just some kind of toxic narcissistic cycle and that um, it's not real and you can detach, but you don't. You actually, look at this, you actually do still care. We have forgiveness, so you act like you don't, but you do. And then we have help. Um, this says stick up for someone, helping someone. Uh, yeah, so this is this is like keeping you up at night lately. So you might have been doing well with detachment, and now it's it's coming it's coming back. The worry. Um, we have a spiritual being here. Like I was saying, this is like a spiritual connection. So um, maybe they're up worried about something. Maybe something with law, or maybe they're a fireman or a cop, or you are. You could be. Okay, so we have money restrictions and finance. So maybe they want to change their career and they're worried about money or you want to change yours and you're worried about money, but that's what's been keeping them up. Maybe there's you're getting some spiritual insight on how to help them financially. Okay, we have earth energy. Earth energy is about stability, okay? Earth benders can turn a penny into a $100 bill. You got your Capricornos, <laughs> Capricorn holes. <laughs> you have um, your Ragocious babes, and you have your. I miss you one. Your Toros, putting others first, selfish, uh, selfless giving. Yeah, you're gonna be helping. Um, I'm seeing planting seeds. Maybe that's the Earth part too. Planting financial seeds of your insight and you you're probably gonna be like god told me this when it's like your spirit guides or whatever you know call it whatever you want yeah you put lipstick on a pig it's still a fucking pig so label it whatever the hell you want my point is somebody try to swing your spiritual journey in the opposite direction with such confidence like no no they were a narcissist and now i'm a religious person or whatever and that was new way stuff bitch this was here before all of that okay so you tell yourself whatever you want Whatever you want won't change your soul journey. Label whatever you want. This is real. And this is what you're meant to be here for. So just say this could even be somebody who's considering it. Like saying, no, I got a reading from somebody who's not a fucking twin flame. And was saying that they're a narcissist and I have to leave and cut them off. And, I, and so then I did a cord cutting ritual and blah, blah, blah. And it feels like. Yeah, you just got some advice from somebody who's not on your level. Are you insane? Yeah. That's from here. Are you insane? Look, yeah, it delayed you. And then we have some water healing. You're meant to have a child with, with this person. Yeah, you're meant to co-create. You're meant to heal as well. The things you create, the people or company, whatever you guys create is meant to help other people on their journey. We have Cancer Spicer. Spicer. Pisces Scorpio. Spicer, that's so funny. Maybe somebody cooks. Ooh, and then we have stability. And there's Superman making a difference. Impactful. You're meant to create something together in your journey that's going to help people. It's impactful. Yeah, someone's definitely supposed to get this message. Sorry for everybody in Club 33 waiting on their readings. <laughs> this had to come through. Audio technology could be life coaching, could be a podcast. Somebody, wow. Helping other people in your journey needs to come above in front of your biases. In front of what other people think and, you know, oh, me and my mom said this is new age and I don't want to disappoint her. I'm sorry, but was she put here to help millions of people on the planet and raise the vibration of Gaia and just help people heal old traumas? Was she? Because I don't, I don't, if she was, she would be on this journey. Do you get my point? So don't take advice from people that are not going through similar awakenings look spiritual divine wisdom okay only are you listening to me okay 
And you'll know, because there'll be something in your gut that says they're just like me. You'll find their page. If you found this, you are just like me. If you found this, um, you were, and I'm not trying to put you on a pedestal. I'm not trying to put the collective on a pedestal like, we're better, we're chosen, we're the saviors. It's not like that. It's about acceptance, accepting who you are, inner knowledge, understanding, working with the laws of the universe, you know, <laughs> working with the firebenders. And look, Superman, he's not from here, and he came to help here, okay? Earth, remember? He's from Krypton. So you came here from not other dimensions what do you call it galaxies and stuff so you have you know the, there's like the star seas lumerians and then you have us um atlanteans mind bending spirit bending um yeah eye on the prize putting this first Putting the collective first above what your fucking mom or your pastor thinks, whatever. This is most important that you make a change using your divine connection. Using your voice could be making music, could be a podcast. This is meant to be, I'm telling you. You can pretend for as long as you want. You can detach. This is, this is meant to be, okay? And you see these little sparklers are like other light workers. Other people in the collective fucking cheering you on, saying you can do it, you can do it. Lead by example, you know, like two by two, one couple at a time, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. You know, they say the ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. I think that's how it goes, I don't know. We have fireworks, look at the bottom, endings and new beginnings. Maybe you had to end that, that bias part of you that was either or like I said somebody had to go like you were like one way like fuck religion and then you were the other way like you know fuck tarot and now you're gonna find you're like fuck twin flames now you're gonna find this balance of how to exist in both worlds you create your new world and I tell people all the time sometimes the masculines are like Peter Pan in Neverland and the feminines are Alice in Wonderland okay you guys just don't belong in each other's fucking worlds you belong in your own world you know whatever Zootopia Magic Kingdom whatever you want to call it that's after you how you have to visualize it you know you're the you're the same magic makers but if you and I've seen this before so I'm not taking credit for this part but if you feel like you don't belong in any world it's because you were brought here to create a new one okay i've seen that before and that's a really good example you were um brought here to do things but you know stronger together side by side here's art this little painting the girl with the pearl earring and then we have and this could be three spirit babies see the three guitars three music notes three guitars and a baby okay so yeah, I'm gonna post this like right away because it feels like it needs to get to whoever it needs to get to. Um, it's a little like rough reading, it's timeless. I hope, I really hope, like I have some YouTubers in mind, I've never talked to them, but I've seen them go all like, I've thrown out my tarot decks and Jesus is the love of my life. And they just switched from one obsession of a one divine masculine to another obsession over a spiritual connection with a man. They don't see that. They don't see that. They just, it's like they just rebounded like, Meh. um, so maybe they'll find <laughs> this. I really hope it gets to who it needs to get to. I will set the intention. It'll get to who it needs to get to. Thank you for watching. My name is HFIC. I will see you real soon.